one for all transfers by eating hair. You swallow someone's DNA and suddenly you can punch through buildings. That sounds like fantasy. But here's the thing, it's not magic, it's horizontal gene transfer, the same mechanism bacteria use to share antibiotic resistance. So how does eating hair rewrite your biology? In nature, organisms don't just inherit DNA from parents, they can acquire it directly from other organisms. Bacteria do this constantly, they absorb DNA fragments from dead bacteria and incorporate useful genes into their own genome. It's called horizontal gene transfer. One for All works the same way. When you ingest the donor's DNA hair, blood, saliva, you're consuming cells that carry the quirk factor gene. But DNA alone gets destroyed by stomach acid. That's why One for All must use a viral vector like gene therapy does in real medicine. The quirk factor is packaged inside protein capsules that protect it through digestion, then deliver it into your cells intact. Once inside, the DNA integrates into your genome using CRISPR-like mechanisms, the same gene editing system bacteria use to cut and paste DNA. Your cells now express the quirk factor gene. You're not borrowing power, you became a one-for-all user at the genetic level. One-for-all isn't one quirk, it's two fused together. The transfer component moves the DNA, the stockpiling component accumulates energy across generations. Here's the science. Your cells generate energy through mitochondria, the powerhouses of the cell. Athletes train to increase mitochondrial density, which boosts stamina and power output. One for all stockpiling quirk stores that mitochondrial adaptation. Every time the user trains, their cells upregulate energy production. When they pass the quirk on, those epigenetic markers, the cellular memory of training, transfer with it. It's cumulative adaptation. Each generation inherits the previous user's optimized energy systems, then adds their own. Hikage Shinomori trained for 18 years without fighting, purely building mitochondrial capacity All Might held it for 40 years, contributing decades of cellular optimization. By Deku's generation, One for All contains 200 plus years of compounded mitochondrial density. That's why late generation users hit exponentially harder, they're not just stronger, their cells are genetically programmed to produce more ATP, cellular energy, than humanly possible. But one for all can't be stolen. It requires consent. In real genetics, certain genes only activate under specific conditions, triggered by hormones, stress signals, or environmental cues. One for All likely has an epigenetic lock, a regulatory mechanism that keeps the transfer gene dormant unless the donor's body releases specific biomarkers. When All Might willingly gave Deku his hair, his body likely produced signaling molecules, maybe cortisol, oxytocin, or adrenaline, that tag the DNA as ready for transfer. Without those chemical signatures, the quirk factor stays inert. The DNA is just protein. All for One can forcibly extract quirk factors by ripping them out at the cellular level. But One for All's transfer gene won't replicate without the donor's biochemical permission. It's genetic security written into the code itself. Evolution's version of two-factor authentication. One for All outpaces human evolution. Your body adapts to stress gradually. Muscles grow, bones thicken, mitochondria multiply, but One for All forces instant genetic overload. Users with existing quirks face competing gene expression. Their cells are already managing one power system. Adding One for All creates metabolic chaos. Hikage Shinomori's body fractured from within after 18 years. Cellular stress from trying to contain power, his DNA wasn't built. For quirkless users are empty vessels. No competing quirk genes, no cellular conflict. That's why All Might and Deku survived. Their cells could dedicate 100% of resources to One for All without genetic interference. It's not just dangerous power, it's forced evolution at a pace biology can't handle. One for All isn't a symbol, it's a genetic relay. 200 years of mitochondrial adaptation, epigenetic memory, and horizontal gene transfer compressed into a single strand of hair. Every punch Deku throws carries nine generations of cellular evolution. It's not magic, it's biology pushed past its limits. If you want more quirk science, check out our Bakugo video on nitroglycerin metabolism and take care and stay sharp.